As mentioned earlier in the show, self-confessed chauvinists, the first tones have got a new album out on Situation 2 called In Heat. Rudy, Petrudi and co were over here recently to reaffirm that they're the world's greatest rock and roll band. I, I was brought up in Pennsylvania. Uh, poor middle class, uh, lower middle class family, you know, they call us white trash. You know, I lived in a trailer for half of my life in, in a beat up trailer court with a bunch of rednecks. Uh, if I walked down the street, people would pull their pickups trucks over, jump out and try to hold me down and cut my hair off. Uh, you know, they were raising, raising pigs and, and going to, uh, to tractor pulls and stuff on the weekends. You know, that, that's the way I was brought up. So, you know, to, to just walk around with long hair or, or whatever, you know, it was like, it wasn't really a conscious decision to be a rebel. It's just I liked rock and roll, and that wasn't, that wasn't accepted, you know. Uh, where I went to school when I was a kid, it was all uh, short hair and, and athletics, and if you weren't on the football team, then, uh, you know, you were a, a target for being beat up. First Stones have got a reputation for um, attracting a lot of sort of enthusiastic female Girl, fans. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you agree with it? Do you think that it's true or do you think it is a lot of press hype? I've never seen it in the press. It is, it's true. We've worked real hard for that part of it. We figured if we're going to go on tour, travel and play every night, we should at least have an audience that we're, that we're pleasing to look at. Well, you once said that without the groupies, you'd go crazy. You would. Well, it's kind of hard to What would you do? You know, every night for months on end, it's, uh, it's, it's a little difficult. You know, you need, uh, you need kind of an uh, emotional release occasionally, you know. Well, do you think you've got respect for your female audience then? Oh, yeah. Haven't you yeah. ever heard our lyrics? Well, do you think you have? Because of the impression that I've got is that um, you treat them <laughs> like dirt in a way. Dirt? That's I not get true. No, no, we, no, that's we not treat, true. We, you get a lot of female hecklers, though, at the gigs. We do sometimes, especially in Holland. But we, we, we're never, we're not against them at all. We have a lot of respect for real. And most of them we, we stay friends with. We've got, we get letters every day, and we usually write back. and. A lot of people have come over to visit and will stay with us. In the summer, we must have had, every week was a different set of girls coming over to, to visit Los Angeles that would let stay with us. They have to wash the dishes and clean the house. But that's but it. That's it. But what about this um, Nine Months Later EP? I, mean, you, uh, I believe that was dedicated to some of your female fans. That, well, yeah, I don't think that's derogatory, though. That's just, uh, you know, it's a song that's, that's about um, a normal bodily function. You know, people get pregnant when they have sex, you know. It happens. Yeah, but who do they get pregnant it, by? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it depends, doesn't it? It's really, it's after the shows where we've had the most violence with jealous boyfriends and broken windows. Yeah, we've, actually though, I think it's our audience who, who suffers the most. I mean, I can remember a couple times, even here once, we played at, at Dingwalls. I remember once at Dingwalls, this would be so funny if the girl's watching, this is several years ago. Uh, I went over and, uh, and gave the girl a kiss and then I, I walked back and, and I didn't know she was with a guy and the guy beat her to a pulp right there. It wasn't her fault, I mean I did it, but he beat her up and then that happened in Italy too. There was a girl hanging out backstage and her boyfriend beat her to a pulp. But you know, we don't encourage anything like that, you know. Um, what do you do about it? 
I guess it all depends. We didn't know it happened till later. I mean, you know, we've... In Italy, her boyfriend was one of the security of the uh, club, so there wasn't much we could do about that. We usually try to, you know, take them to a, a safe place like our hotel or something so they can get away from their... I think it's just generally people get the, the wrong impression of us because we are actually proud of what we do. And, and if you walk around wearing pride on your sleeve, a whole lot of people think you're conceited and vain and blah, 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 blah. I'm really proud of this band. This band's been together for nine years and we've worked really hard, harder than anybody I have ever seen. And we've gone through a hell of a lot of crap to get to where we are. We didn't just start last night. We didn't jump on some trend. We started a trend. And there's a whole lot of bands trying to be the fuzz tones. I could name off a list up to my arm. And, uh, and we're really proud of it. You know, and it's not, you know, I think that's all it is. You know, a lot of people misinterpret it. Uh, and that's okay, you know. That's fine, whatever they want to think. We're not going to change. You know, we're just going to be who we are. And maybe that's why it took us so long. Because a lot of people do get the wrong impression because, yeah, I guess we're cocky. Because we have a right to be. We worked really hard for it, you know, and I, I'm not going to act humble if I don't feel humble. I'm not humble. I feel really good about this band. We're, you know, and I think that uh, nothing wrong in saying it. <laughs>